Hello, everybody. Welcome to Draw <laughs> With Me Kids Edition. There's Miss Rainbows. She's jumping aboard. Oh, it's doodle -ed. We're going to have a little bit of extra noise today because we got somebody uh, working next door. But today, we're going to do some sky-related machines. We're going to do some hot air balloons, maybe a helicopter. An airplane. Airplane. And the airship from Among Us. <laughs> She's obsessed. So grab your pens, your pencils, your papers, your erasers. Let's go. All right. Last week we did a an Among Us theme where we showed you guys how to do crewmates and imposters and, and ghosts and ghosts. Miss Rainbows did a little ghost of her own character, Panda. That's right. If you see Panda on, you may be playing against Miss Rainbows. She doesn't play too many public games though. Not an imposter. And then her two little baby crewmates, Vincent and Lean, doing some stuff for the airship. And we have the daycare with Baby Imposter. And you know what? We made the recommendation that she go ahead and make a, a comic. And you know what she did right after the episode? When she, made a comic. Yeah. So she did. And there's little Baba with his mommy. Yeah, with his mommy. Up and then he's got his dad in the vent. <laughs> yeah, and if you think that I didn't take the picture that was big enough, that is exactly how the picture shows. Her head is a little bit cut off. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, using all of her sketchbook. And then this is my crewmate, purple with their mini crewmate, green, dressed up as unicorns. So that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that last uh, last week? We did. Miss Rainbows absolutely loves Among Us, don't you, buddy? Yep. Have you already started? Look at her. She's... She's already started with a hot air balloon. So let me get you guys up to speed on a hot air balloon. Hot air balloons are very simple. They're like a simple shape. Uh, we can do definitely start with a simple shape. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with a big round circle. That's my somewhat messy circle. I'm still not very good at drawing circles without a little bit of help. Here's an easy way to draw a circle that I know of. So I'm okay with this though. We'll get caught up to Miss Rainbows who has a wonderful hot air balloon already. So you get your circle shape and balloons aren't always just circle and round. They sort of come down just like so. And with a hot air balloon you have an opening there where, well, the hot air goes, the, the flame jet goes to help fill the balloon with hot air. The idea is to make the air inside the balloon hotter so it rises in the cooler air. Hot air balloons are fun. So that is your shape. And if you're just joining us and wondering, where the heck is Miss Rainbow? She's here. She just ran off to get something. <laughs> So we started with that circle shape and then we created sort of a triangular cone on the bottom of it to make that hot air balloon shape. Next simple shape we're going to use is a square. And or rectangle. Here she comes. Here she comes. So what I'm going to do is continue with this. So you make your, ba your basket rectangle, a square, and if you want to make it just a little bit 3D, I do two straight lines like that, and then a straight line that is parallel to the front one, and this is how you make a cube. Same idea here. We've done this one for Minecraft, a cube, right? Yeah. If you want to give the impression that that basket is hollow on the inside, I like to just color it in a little bit. And then you can attach with some straight lines each corner of that basket to the balloon. Like that. Ta-da! 
So far, so good. You can draw the little oh my gosh, device here. Hurt? It's on YouTube. Oh, famous last words. It worked on YouTube. So, usually hot air balloons have a little uh, flame jet right about there. So that it's aimed right up into the balloon. And I just do a little line up there to sort of suggest that there's a little bit of fire going on. There we are. So if you've got your hot air balloon shape, you can draw whatever you want as a pattern or as a design on it. Oh man, it's chaos here today. And it's just gentle chaos, really. It's not nothing to worry about. Um, if you're drawing, as I was saying, if you're drawing a uh, sign on this, you want to think about the balloon being round. So you sort of want to wrap it around. Imagine drawing a line. Instead of drawing a straight line across the balloon, you can do that. If you want to go with it, think of wrapping around so it would be an arc around um, the shape of the balloon. So, so what I sometimes do with my design as I'm thinking about it, sorry we're getting distracted by raspberry bubble tea which sounds delicious. I'm so jealous. And tricks that aren't working. <laughs> That's okay. So like maybe I want to put a big flower on my balloon and I'd sort of think of how that flower shape would look. And I'd start to stretch it just a little bit to make it look different on the balloon. But you can put whatever you want on your hot air balloon. That's the cool thing about creating your own thing. Now we have something in the sky. We need something else in the sky. What else do you want to learn how to draw? That flies. I think we mentioned an airplane. We're talking about machines in the air today, or human inventions in the air today. An airplane, which is going to look like it's coming near that poor, poor dude. It's some pretty easy, simple shapes. I would start out with a rectangle. Then I would take a almost right angle triangle. Actually it's a little bit different. Maybe I would change that. I would take a triangle and it looks a little bit like a rocket. Okay, which you could change this into making a rocket, but we're making this a plane right now. And then I do a reverse sort of triangle on this side to make the tail leading up to another triangle. See so yeah, how you can just take a bunch of simple shapes, hook them all together, just breaking it down into simple shapes and making something that's a lot more complex. Like an airplane. There. So triangle, 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 rectangle, and we've got the fuselage of an airplane with its tail attached. Then you would draw another what triangle. Did, what did you do? I'm lost. Well, let me start you from the beginning. Start out with a rectangle. Do you have your rectangle? Now draw a triangle on the front nose to make the cone, nose cone of the airplane on the back of your rectangle. Draw a right angle triangle that's flipped up like that. See that guy? And then take a right angle triangle and stack it on top of that to make the tail. I'm confused. What? So where's your, where are you? So you have your right angle triangle? I'll show yeah. you that one. Yeah, so keep that other one. Keep the other one, that right angle triangle. Yep, and then erase the straight lines in between them, but keep the triangle form. So it sort of makes almost like a, what do you call that, a trapezoid? Attached on the back? It's more of a diamond. 
more of a parallelogram, a diamond. Other shapes you could use. And then you do a triangle for the wing, just out like that, so you can sort of do another right angle triangle to get the wing. Start in the middle of your rectangle and draw the triangle point out towards you. Miss Rainbow's getting frustrated today. She's not feeling great today because of allergies. Her eyes are getting puffy. Not fun. Hey, bud. Does anybody else out there get allergies? You can decide whether you want to be able to see. Yes, we can most certainly next do a helicopter. You can have it a jet, so you can just have that cockpit like a semicircle like that. Or if you're making it more like a Boeing 747 with lots of passengers, you do a skinnier window for it. You maybe put a circle for one engine underneath that wing two circles if it's a really big plane and then some straight lines to make the engine see that here I can do this bigger so you can see it better made it behind instead of underneath. I made it behind underneath. fair enough fair enough and then you'd have your little windows and you could put doors in and that is oh, don't forget this tail part that would be a really simple cartoon way to draw an airplane. So, we have next... I don't want to make this guy look like he's crashing into my poor thing. He's just flying behind, so let's, let's move him over here. Next, if you want to do a helicopter, helicopters come in all kinds of shapes. But my favorite one to do. You ready, Miss Rainbows? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a medic imposter balloon. And a rainbow imposter. And a rainbow imposter army balloon. I like that you're making them all among us because she really loves them. So for a helicopter, again, we'll start out with our basic shapes. And you can make this as complex as you want, because I know that uh some of the artists out there are really good at adding detail or like fun things like Miss Rainbows did with her uh, medic balloon. She's got band-aids and equipment hanging off. So you can do whatever you'd like, but the basic shape to start with Is a helicopter. That what I'm doing? The medic imposter. Medic imposter. Tongue down the Oh, it's his tongue! And then he's grabbing onto his tongue and he says, That's my tongue! <laughs> So one of the shapes you can start out with is a circle. Again, all about basic shapes. And you can do a little cone on the front, which is a bit like a triangle or a semicircle. Looks a bit like a teddy bear. Then you would draw an almost straight line. I like to make it a little bit like a triangle, a rectangle. I also like to kind of you guys can see here curve the lines in a little bit from the side yep like using the edge of the circle yep you can definitely do that you can definitely curve it in a little bit and then I added a triangle at one side up flat part to attach to those lines like a foot You can add your blades if it's moving. If it's moving, you can have them solid straight like that. If it's not moving, I should say. But if you want to show that it's moving, you can just do a circle and a few lines to show. What do you do if it's not moving? If it's not moving, if it's landed, you would draw like leaf petals for the propellers. Where? Uh, just on the tail. You're doing, you're doing the tail propeller. We're on the tail. Right where your triangle is. We're on the triangle. Midway up the triangle. 
She's being very good at just telling me that I'm not giving the instructions very well. That's okay. I need somebody to remind me to give the instructions a little easier. I'm just erasing my lines of the connecting part so you still have the shape. And then the last part of the helicopter, the most important part that everybody probably knows, is to create, similar to the tail, where your propeller is going to go. Two straight lines up. And if you're just doing a helicopter that is landed, which I think Miss Rainbows is doing, you draw a similar elongated oval or leaf shape. And if you're going to have it flying, you elongated still... Elongated means very long. Thank you. It does mean very long. It means stretched out. It means long or stretched out. You can do the same thing if it's in the air. And to show that it's moving, you can do just the lightest of an arc to give Could it like to do when it's impression moving? that it's moving. What I like to do when it's moving is a kind of straight, curvy line. Yep. I kind of curve a little bit, and then it makes it one big oval. That's a great a idea. In the middle. Yep. And then kind of shade it in. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. See, there's many ways you can do it that's, that's your own way of doing it. And then you want to make sure they have the landing skits. So I draw four straight lines, so two on the front, two at the back, not on the tail, just before the tail. And two. then, so I've got two lines there, two lines there. Miss Rainbows is taking a very close look. And then I do a straight line to connect all four of them. And because often these guys are made of skis, or look like skis, you just add a little tiny curly Q hook at the front. Mine's special because I have a kind of up and then I have a curl. That's a great idea because if sometimes helicopters are a bit like this, right, as they're flying. So you could change the direction just a little bit of your of your skids to be or your skis to be like that if you wanted. Sort of straight straight so you can sort of have them a little bit angled to give that motion and I think that's a really good idea Sophia it's a really great idea Miss and Rainbows. then Miss Rainbows sorry Miss Rainbows and then you can draw all of your elements of the cockpit so a, I do square like shape for the glass maybe there's another window back here for the passengers other passengers to look out at and you can get really cartoony or really detailed if you want. And that is how you draw a very quick cartoon helicopter. Mine looks a little bit uh, a little bit awkward. Here, I'm going to make them dark windows you can't see in. Maybe they can see out. And some helicopters have this really cool tail where the whole tail piece is in like that inside the tail it's just hollowed out like a donut and you can see the see the propeller wheels in there and if you want something that's a little bit more aerodynamic so something that can fly a little better in the air um, you can add more of a point on your helicopter for your airplane you'd make them just a little bit skinnier Maybe something more like that. So there's all kinds of ways to make machines that fly or things that fly. I love doing rocket ships. And uh, one of my favorite rocket ships are the old fashioned kind of rocket ship. Which is just straight up. rectangle. I like to widen it just a little bit at the base to give it a style. Triangle on the top. This is so simple and so easy. It could be a firework. Kind of like you're making a, a silo, so Miss Rainbows. I like drawing a big old circle. You can have somebody there. A 
crewmate, maybe, blasting off into space. Triangle for the directional guide of the rocket. On either side. I like to curve the base to give it that cylinder shape, but you can make it straight if you want. How's your rocket going? Oh my gosh, she's already blasting off. And then I add one, two, depending on how many engines you want, three, four, five, six. Let's make it a three engine thing with fire coming out. Oh yeah, Miss Rainbows is ahead of the game on me on that one. It's blasting off. And one of the things I like to do to detail some of my machines or my cars or um, the rockets and whatnot is I like to add little lines that look like panels and dots that look like they're, they're sort of screwed in together. So the screws and the bits and how it's sort of all put together. Like I might even make this porthole because that's what it would be called. Portal? Portal? Hole? And I might put some dots in it to make it look like it's riveted right into, made out of metal. But you know what? You can do anything you want to do with your rocket to make it your own. So. I wanted to show you guys how to do the airship. Why don't you draw the airship? So it's a very easy thing to draw. First of all, you want to start off with a circle. Are you gonna draw it with this? I am just finishing up my my thing. So start off with a, a circle or like an egg shape almost. A circle. A circle. Okay. Sorry, it's hard for my to see that. The airship. Now I'm gonna draw it. Oh, that was that was pretty good actually. Okay, I've got my circle. Next, on the back, make a line about a third through the circle. Just a gentle one, because you're going to erase that one later. And you can kind of extend it up just a little bit out of the circle. Not a lot, just a little bit. Then make a line from the very top of the circle, crossing over to the top of that line that we made through it. Okay. And then you can make a triangle using the bottom of that line. Uh-huh. And then... Of the one that we made earlier, and the one at the top. Oh, I see. I see. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. So you're taking this, following along the bottom of your thing, and then like. No, that's not. You got to make like a triangle that points kind of. I went the wrong direction. So we want to follow the length of this up, and then like this. Is it a straight line from the top? Yeah. Okay. And but you want to match up. Uh, the top of your circle, Mommy, with the line connecting to the line at the top of the triangle. Because then it's all going to be one thing. We're going to erase some of the guidelines. Okay. I love this guideline. These are simple shapes making big objects. Okay, what are we erasing? Then erase that line we made through the middle of the circle. We're, we right, we're trying to draw the top at. Airship. And then Airship. you can draw. You can like erase that little piece of circle inside of the triangle that you drew. Yep. Lots of erasing going on. So we sort of have this almost fireball like look to it. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Now what? And then you can, you'll have gotten a little triangle from it mm -hmm. that is part of the circle. You can erase that. Mm -hmm. Next draw a little triangle that's got its point down. It's just like the one we drew for the tail, but instead of up, the point is down. Okay. It's a wing. Then you can draw a semicircle wherever you want, like a little semicircle. Okay. Kind of with the with the, the straight line up. It looks like a fish. <laughs> I like this. 
then you can draw lines up from the side of their baby semicircle. Cheep, cheep. A line connecting the top to those lines. And it looks like a fish with an eye line. Okay. <laughs> you can put little lines through that little new rectangle that we made. That's the fence of a balcony. Then you can put a little, a very itty bitty shaded in one. A little semicircle, shaded in semicircle at the top as the door. Ah. This is like you really paid attention to this airship. Hmm. Then you can draw a big semicircle. You can see at the front. As the cockpit. As the cockpit window. Uh, then you can kind of, if you want, add a glare. How I do that glare, glare on it is do a straight line wherever you want the glare. Okay. Draw a triangle, light triangle, kind of at 90 degree using the straight line. Then um, you can erase it, keep the point and then the line at the top and then you can kind of use the back one and make a curve between the point and then you can do the same thing with the front then you can put a square not connected but just a little bit below it okay then it makes that glare it also I, looks I did like a different shape shirt. yeah and a little bit of a different one but similar enough then you can do if you want to do the top hat one you yeah. can put a little top hat and then an Among Us character in it. If you want to do your own airship, you don't have to put that. You can put any logo you want there. Then you write top well, maybe hat. I'll do... So it's spelled top hat. A dragon on mine. Dragon! And I don't know if this one has a name, except that it's just a dragon. Okay, anything else we put on this ship? Um, if you wanted to give it thrusters, you can go to the bottom of the circle kind of shape mm -hmm. and then draw a line a bit above it and then another one so you to make the thrusters the thruster. Like... Then you can make a kind of curvy line to cap it off yep. and then you can do your fire coming out or whatever it is propelling it you can make it come out you can make it water you can make it yeah you can make it a water you could make it a steam propelled that you would can be make cool. it a paint propelled <sighs> paint pro propelled airship would you have windows or other things on this you could um if you want it too you could definitely put windows on it there's like hatches and doors and stuff on it too. This is where I'm gonna go a little bit wild and do my own thing. There's a little hatch on the top of the one in Henry Stickman. Yeah. Mid Among Us and Henry Stickman are made by the same developer. There's a little hatch on the top that Henry uses to get in. Wow, so you could just decorate it any which way you wanted. So this is Miss Rainbow's looking at the airship from Among Us, the top hat, and looking at it from a perspective of what common shapes do I see in it, and then drawing it from there. So guys, you can take anything, break it down into its common shapes, and try to rebuild it again. Kind of reverse engineer it. It's all about using your eyeballs your brains and your hands or whatever you use to draw with and putting them all together. So observing what you see using your eyes, using your mind to think about it and break it down into shapes you know and you recognize and then getting your hands to do it. Kind of cool, huh? So this is, I'm just going to put a few clouds. What I love about clouds and if you want to make something in the sky look like it's moving through the sky and fast is to do flat bottom of a cloud and then when you're doing the cloud you sort of 
make it look like it's going in the direction where you want your ship to have come from. So it all looks like it's zooming fast. And thanks for watching Job Me Kid Vision episode 54, Flying Things. We hope you had fun drawing your things in the sky with us today. And if you enjoyed, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video. So you'll never miss another Draw With Me Kids Edition episode ever again. We'll see you guys next week for Earth Day theme. Bye. Bye.